hi guys welcome back to my channel so as you read by the title i will be bringing you along on a road trip i was invited on so here we're heading to wapula province from Lusaka, and it took us approximately 16 hours to get to our final destination so we practically spent our first day on the road and we actually arrived to our final destination at five in the morning the next day so when we got to the hotel we didn't really start our day until everybody was well rested and when i say everybody i mean it was a group of 13 people and you probably recognize some of the faces from the Kafue river vlog So here we are at Dumbachushi Falls which is situated between Kazembe and Kawambwa by the Ngona River. It is a double waterfall and is formed by the river that splits into two running streams. So the falls is known to be a place for spiritual cleansing and traditional ceremonies for the reigning leaders of the tribe. Can we just take a moment and appreciate the natural lighting? And the rainbow is so beautiful! And here is a close-up look of the falls so we did decide to do a little hike and just view where the water is coming from and as you can see it's a beautiful scene we stayed here for the rest of the afternoon and yeah just in case you're probably going to wonder why i'm holding a cup of wine throughout the video girl i was on vacation and mind your business <laughs> Since we had arrived at the hotel when it was too dark, I decided to do a little sneak peek of it after we go back from the falls. Hello. Thank you. It was alright. Thank you. How was your day? <laughs> Hi. Hi. What's up? What's up with you? Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> So what we did when we came back from the falls is we freshened up, gathered by the pool area, had our dinner and chilled until it was time to go to bed. So it is the next day and we visited Lake Mweru. So Lake Mweru is a fresh water lake 
and it is located on the border between Zambia and the Democratic Republic of Congo. So the lake is very fertile and contributes substantially to the fishing industry in Zambia. Day two was a bit different. We spent the afternoon on the boat and this boat is apparently owned by one of the chiefs. So here is a little tour of the boat. I'm trying to be as respectful as possible not to show people's faces. Not that they would have minded, but I just didn't find it okay. So yeah, here, just look at the view. It's so beautiful out here and just peaceful. So we stopped by a nearby island and most of the group members decided to go explore but some of us decided to stay on the board and just gaze at this beautiful 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 sunset. Our last location is Samfia and we only spent a few hours here because we didn't really have enough time to explore the place but just a few fun facts about this place is Samfia is built on the shores of Lake Bangwehulu and spreading its hinterland. It is also a beautiful place which has everything brought into one and I wish we had enough time to really explore this place, but we had to go home. So here are some of the pictures that we took and overall it was quite an amazing journey. I got to meet new people. I got to know a lot more about the people that were already in my life and yeah, it was just amazing and i'm grateful that we go back safe and sound i'm also grateful to be a part of this amazing group of people it was a long 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 journey but it was all worth it anyway guys thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video bye